Hey YouTube, this is Minecraft for you 76 and I'm showing you how to make a beacon and what a beacon pyramid, as I like to call it, can do. So here's how you basically make just the beacon, what this one right here. So crafting table, three obsidian on the bottom. By the way, most of you aren't going to be able to make this in survival mode. Very hard to get stuff like this. Um, so just five glass on top. Uh, yeah, five. And then we'll start right in the middle and you have yourself a beacon. Um, so here's basically what you want to do. You get a block of diamond. You can get a block of iron or gold or emerald. And you just basically make a pyramid. So the first level is... 9 by 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and just, um, then keep doing that, and so it should go 9 by 9, um, uh, 7 by 7, 5 by 5, so it's three by three then just one at the top um so i'll show you just how to make the first layer then i'm gonna cut it and i'm gonna show you what how to use it at the end so fill in everything and so i'm gonna cut it right about here and um so i'll show you once you're done i'll show you how to use it so yeah Okay, so, okay, this should be done by now, and there should be one space. This is where you put the beacon, right there. So, or light should, yeah, a light should emit like this, and I'm going to show you just how far it goes. You can see it from pretty much anywhere, as long as your render distance is far. So, and it goes, I'm pretty sure, 273 blocks high, but... At the end, it like blurs away, which is really cool. Um, so I'll show you that. I'm gonna show you the top view if I can get close enough. Okay, so it's probably the time where I should have some music. Dun, dun. Okay, so I'm here. See, you can't see. Okay, so right here is where it starts. There's the top. It looks like a little kind of elevator shot. So cool if you actually do it. Um, so yeah, here's me falling down it. So, don't try this unless you're in creative mode. Okay, to use it. Now you, from building this, you should have at least one block left. And turn, whatever you're using, turn it into, like, emeralds or diamonds or gold or whatever um so look. click on this and this screen should pop up so you have primary powers and secondary powers um choose what you want so let's say i want strength i'll click strength and it turn comes over here then i'll click it again and then i'll drag one of my diamonds here and click done and you have strength. Here's how to tell if you have strength. Well, whatever you have. Um, click, open your inventory, and it'll say it on the side right here. So, I have strength. Notice how it's going down? It just restarts every time it gets to five. I can show you, like, and I'm pretty sure you can have two at a time. Like, regeneration. Let's see if I can have two at a time. For the first second, you'll have two at a time, or, you know? Yeah, see, there's two at a time right now, and the strength wore off, and now I only have regeneration. So that's basically how the beacon works. It's really cool. It helps if you're in battle. Choose what you want, and um, yeah, it just helps you a lot, and it's a useful item. But the problem is you're most likely going to be in creative mode when you make it, so it's not going to help you in survival mode unless you have cheats, and you change it to survival mode. So that is my tutorial on the beacon thank you for watching and by the way guys i have a new editor uh 
and his YouTube account is JSLand Studios, and that will be in my um, comments. And um, subscribe to him if you like what you've seen, or like the beginning and the end, stuff like that. And yeah, so thanks for watching. Subscribe, and bye bye. Thanks.